my apologies. That's okay. Thank you, Mayor. My question is about cat management. Oh At least 600,000 native animals are killed in Kingborough each year from domestic cats alone. And from March the 1st, 2022, a person must not keep more than four cats over the age of four months on their property without a permit. And all cats over the age of four months must be microchipped and desexed, among other provisions uh, around breeding cats, for example, and requiring uh, the need to be part of a recognised cat organisation. My question was, in the lead up to the 1st of March, how is council preparing? Is everything on track and will councillors be given an update about any ongoing compliance issues that relate to the new cat management provisions? Thank you. Um, look, I agree with you. That's a significant issue for the municipality and Dr Stevenson would be able to give us an update in relation to the preparations for um, those regulations coming online. Um, through you, Mayor, we have started um, providing some community alerts through um, the Chronicle and our socials and our website. In terms of compliance in relation to these new regulations, we, um, as with a lot of um, these types of activities, it's responsive rather than proactive compliance, which is was always the intent of the government's legislation, because otherwise it would be a new uh, cost impact, a new uh, a cost shift to, to councils. However, we, uh, as you know, um, do resource, uh, co-resource a, um, a, a cat management officer, Kayleen, and, uh, and we're also plugged into the, uh, and still in the tail end of delivering the last phase of the regional cat management project. And so there's a really uh, strong opportunity to have synergies around those um, activities, but our focus will continue to be an educative role more than a compliance role. Thank you, and Kayleen does a terrific job. I hope we uh, we stay on top of it. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Mitchell.